Hi everyone, my name is Dani Capoarie and I'm the Entrepreneurial Advisor at the Inspire Action Center. With these unprecedented times brought about by the pandemic, the Inspire Action Center decided it was important to showcase some Restigouche entrepreneurs who, despite all of the restrictions in place, proved to be resilient and chose to use this experience to innovate and reinvent their business. Our hope is that entrepreneurs who are still dealing with the pandemic aftermath will find motivation in these videos and that they will also be a source of inspiration for other existing and aspiring entrepreneurs. Today, you will meet with Mrs. Felicia fontaine Galan, a very creative local freelance photographer and owner of Fifi Photography. Felicia will talk about the various changes that had to be made to her work, the projects that she had to set aside, at least for now, and the opportunities that the pandemic brought to her business. Here's a snapshot into Felicia's pandemic story. All right, Alex, you ready? Perfect, so you look great like that. Big smiles. I specialize in lifestyle photography. I do weddings, a lot of freelance work, uh, and I've been doing it going on four years now. Uh, being a lifestyle photographer means that I use a lot of natural light. Um, so most of my sessions, yes, were done outside, and I think that was a plus during the pandemic. Awesome. I was able okay, to use outdoor locations to still do my photo shoots and be uh, and use that social distance to still get my cli uh, my clients' pictures done. Yeah, I think like everybody else, uh, it was a shock. Uh, we were scared. Uh, we didn't really know what was going on. I tried to um, do things that were different. I tried to find new and creative ways to shoot people. Uh, for instance, uh, for my grads. Uh, a lot of the time we couldn't touch them. When you're a photographer, you need to be so close to your client, you know what I mean? And I had to like ask the parents to help. You know, they were a big help during the graduation photos and stuff like that. Um, location wise, uh, it was all, everything was out outdoors. Did you get to partner up with other local businesses um, since the beginning of the pandemic? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I've created so many great partnerships and friendships that I hope that will keep going uh, after this pandemic because it really is amazing. Uh, I was able to photograph uh, new upcoming businesses and stuff like that. I know that it's not easy when you're first starting out. And so like I would offer them a free session because I wanted their business to grow. So it's important to support local for the growth of our community. I work in this community. So I want my business to strive and, and the more businesses that we have here, the more people will want to buy here and come here. So I think that it's very important to support local um, and buy local if you can, you know. Don't support the big guys. We, we have everything that we need uh, in these small businesses. Would partnering up be something you would have considered before the pandemic if it wouldn't have been of the hardships from the pandemic? Um, thinking back, I don't think I would have had the initiative to do it or thought about it before. So I'm thankful for COVID for certain things because together we're better. I know that's cliche, but uh, during the pandemic, it really was uh, one of my most uh, important things was to, to uh, create those bonds with local businesses. So no, without the pandemic, I don't think I would have, no, I don't think so. Being active on social medias uh, allowed you in some ways, I'm assuming, that you got visibility from people outside of the region, uh, allowing you to book many other contracts. Um, what's your secret? How did you get the word out? So the biggest promoter of my business has been word of mouth. Uh, my clients have been amazing. They refer me and when, they're, when the client is happy with the work that you do, they will tell other people. So that's why it's so important for me, for my clients, to be happy and, and comfortable with me uh, when they're doing a, a session. That's what I want. I want them to have fun. And I think that's the main reason why I've been able to expand is just good reviews, people talking. Like, it's nice. So did the pandemic um, push you to innovate in any way? Of course, because the time that I wasn't working, I was thinking, constantly thinking of how can I be different? How can I be innovative? How can I stand out like how can we keep this going you know what i mean which helped me uh to shoot differently to have different ideas you know what i mean stuff like that so yes i think that that time that uh we were all not working was a time to 
reflect on what can be done and what can I do to, to be better. Were there any um, projects that you had ongoing or that you were going to start out before the pandemic and comes the pandemic vanished? All right, so before the pandemic, I actually uh, was planning on opening my studio. Uh, I had a place picked out, uh, the rent was paid, and me and my friend Vanessa, my assistant, had started painting and stuff like that, and we were very excited because it was something that I've always wanted, a studio, right? And that got shut down pretty quick because I realized I'm not going to be able to afford this. And you know, I'm not going to be able to afford to put the proper, the proper adaptations in there. Uh, so I had to let go of that dream. Um, but it's still a dream of mine. I, I really hope that one day I'll be able to have my studio and that's something uh, that I'm working on and hopefully it'll be sometime in the near future. You had a, an interesting picture that you posted about an owl. Let's talk about this. Was this like getting, jumping outside of your box or? It was doing a, mater a maternity session and this owl just showed up and I was like, oh my God, I got to capture this, this owl. So it was just, it wasn't planned. It wasn't, I'm not a nature photographer. It's not what I do. But when I saw something like that, I was like, I, I got to take my camera. So I told this pregnant woman, I was like, just a, just a second there, I have to capture this. And yeah, and it kind of, that was one of my most popular pictures, I think, that was on social media, which is kind of funny because it wasn't planned at all. <laughs> of all the adaptations that you've made uh, since the beginning of the, this crisis, which are the ones that, stu that stood out to you of which you are the most proud of? There, there's a few things that I'm proud of. Um, for example, I was able to do a contract uh, with the company Iris which they're a company from uh, Ottawa, and they hired me to do pictures of an optometrician uh, in Dalhousie, which for me was a big, big deal. You know what I mean? That I'm getting contracts from people that are, you know, outside, that they're researching around here and deciding to choose me. Um, I was also featured on a couple of pages, like, um, like just recently I was featured on uh, Country Liberty for a photo shoot that I had done with a couple, and they had a bottle of wine uh, that was the Country Liberty brand and I was featured on their on their page and for me that was amazing because I love their clothes so little things like that you know little accomplishments uh, when you come from a small town mean a lot so it's the little things that I think that I get the most high out of so yeah there's a few things like that that I'm really proud of the recognition you've been selected uh, among a variety of entrepreneurs mostly because of the way you viewed the pandemic, which was in a positive light. Um, if you could leave entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs with a tip, what would you tell them? Just to not be afraid to be themselves. And, and if they're into, let's say for me, it's photography. For somebody else, it could be anything. Just be passionate and, and love what you do and, and keep going and think outside the box. And just don't be afraid to be yourself or don't be afraid of what other people will think. You know, I find that for me, that's one of the things that I take a lot of pride in is, is I'm always myself and I always try to do things um, differently and creatively. So I think it's important to, to step outside the box and, and, and be creative, own your creativity, own your passion. I'm done. Bam. Bam.